Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-innovation.com. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about again a very frequently asked question called can you explain the selenium hierarchy? Okay, so the moment you start attending interviews, right, you must be having so many list of tools or library in your resume. So let's say you've written Selenium, Tristan G, Jenkins, Maven, Git, GitHub, SOAP, UI, Postman, everything. But the moment they ask you the first question, can you explain me web driver, driver equal to new Chrome driver or a remote web driver, driver equal to new Chrome driver or it can be any other order. Okay, I will show you the different permutation combination that they can ask you. So if you're not able to answer the first question, trust me, you will lose the interview because this is the first statement which you write when you start working with Selenium, right? How do you invoke the browser? Web driver, driver, new Chrome driver. So first of all, you should understand the internal hierarchy, how these classes interfaces are linked. And if you are able to explain the same hierarchy in the interview, it gives a very good impression in front of interviewer that you know things internally. And if you're not able to explain this hierarchy, definitely they will understand that you know how things work, but you don't know how internally these things are connected, okay? So let me show you how you can explain this in interview. And if you explain this way, trust me, it will create a very good impression. So I will start from the scratch. I will divide this video into two parts. First part, I will show in the board how these classes are linked, how these interfaces are linked. In the second part, I will open the source code of Selenium and I will show you how exactly it works, okay? So it will set up in your mind that this is how things are working. So you can also do the same thing. I will tell you how to get the source code and how you can see these classes and interfaces, okay? So let's get started. So just to save your time, I have already created a diagram. So for interfaces, okay, I will be using a circle. For classes, I'm just using rectangle. For implementation, I'm just using a straight line. And for extend, I'm using this arrow. So if we start from, let's say Chrome driver. So basically, Chrome driver is a class, okay? This Chrome driver is basically extending another class called Chromium driver. Now, there's a small point I want to add. This hierarchy is for Selenium 4. Selenium 3 has some different uh, changes. There you will not find Chrome driver that I will explain you at the end. As of now, this is for Selenium 4. Okay, so we'll start from the bottom and then we'll go till search context. So basically, Chrome driver is a class. Okay, and this class is extending another class called Chromium driver. Chromium driver is extending another class called Remote Web Driver. Now, Remote Web Driver is the main class, guys, which is implementing all the method of interface. So I'm assuming that you know what is interface, what is class, what is NM, what is abstract class. So basically web driver is an interface which has some list of methods which is predefined. Search context, oh sorry, remote web driver is the class which implements all its methods. And web driver also have one parent interface called search context. So this is the main guy who actually from here the hierarchy begins. Search context is an interface. WebDriver is another interface which actually extends this interface. So this WebDriver has all unimplement, unimplement method of this interface plus search context uh, method which is unimplemented. Remote WebDriver is the class which actually implements these methods. Now if you see we also have actually there are multiple interfaces I have only written two. Takes a screenshot and JavaScript executor which we use most of the time right. So remote web driver also implements takes a screenshot method plus JavaScript executor methods. Now, the moment you write Chrome driver driver equal to new Chrome driver, so you can basically access all the method of Chrome driver, Chromium driver, remote web driver, web driver and search context. Interesting, right? But the moment you write web driver driver equal to new Chrome driver, you can only access the method of web driver and search context and obviously for all the interfaces and classes we have one super class or I will say the parent class is object class whether you mention or don't mention that is a by default. So this is how you have to explain. Now we also have edge driver right. So edge driver also extend another class called chromium driver. Chromium driver as usual extend another class called remote web driver. Remote web driver implements methods of web driver and search context. This class also implement methods of JavaScript executor and takes a screenshot. But for Firefox, Safari driver and I, I have not added Internet Explorer also, they are not extending this class. They are directly extending remote web driver and this is same thing. So this is how you have to explain this hierarchy. 
so basically in web driver interface we also have some interfaces okay this is very interesting so again we have lot of faces but i have written only three as of now now if you're working with selenium 3 you will not get this chrome in okay in that case it is direct extending remote web driver so when i will open the source code i will show you the source code of selenium 4 and selenium 3 as well so that these things should get registered in your mind easily so in interviews if you get whiteboard you're very lucky you can just take uh, you know marker and you can explain how these things are working in case if you are not getting definitely you can draw this on the paint or whatever whiteboard you will getting online just draw this diagram in case if you're not giving anything you can simply explain these are the classes these are the interfaces which is working okay now the different permutation combination uh, combinations one is chrome driver driver equal to new chrome driver remote web driver driver equal to new uh, chrome driver web driver driver equal to new chrome driver web driver driver equal to new remote web driver that is also one of the combinations so the, basically these are the four combinations which is very frequently asked in the interview can you explain me these four uh, combination what is happening in each combination so as we know when we work with selenium grid we use remote web driver right but when you work on the local system when you don't work on the selenium grid we simply use web driver driver equal to new chrome driver and in case if you're working with let's say remote uh, you know you need some specific methods of a specific class then definitely you have to start a browser with that particular driver right so let me show you this in uh, system let's see the source code and after that if you have any other question you can ask me in the comment section so let me jump into the system and let's see okay so just now we discussed right the selenium hierarchy now let me show you the same thing through source code so that you can have a clear picture in your mind so before we start i just want to share that i'm using maven project and I'm going to start the session with Selenium 4 dependencies and once you understand the Selenium 4 hierarchy then we'll move to Selenium 3 hierarchy so that you will get the clear difference. So just to show you that uh, we already have a pom.xml file and if you see right now I have the latest dependency of Selenium which is 4.0.0 beta 1 okay and I already have a package created called Selenium sessions so let me quickly create a demo class because let me name is a Selenium demo because we are not going to write the automation script it is just I need one statement so that I can show you the complete source code let me maximize this and let me quickly write web driver driver equal to new chrome driver okay so we will be importing this web driver which will be coming from definitely open uh, org.openk.selenium package we have another class which is chrome driver which is again coming from selenium so if put mouse over and it's coming from org.openk.selenium.chrome now if you want to see the source code of a specific class so what you can do if you're using windows then use control and put mouse over on that particular class or the method if you're using mac then use command and put mouse over so i'm using mac as of now put mouse over and you can see two options one is open declaration one is open implementation so as of just click on that particular class and you can see right now this is a class so if you see public class chrome driver and it is extending another class called chromium driver which i mentioned in the whiteboard right now let's open this chromium driver so put mouse over again and let's open chromium driver and you can see again it's a separate class and it is extending the remote web driver if you remember we had chromium driver so chrome driver chromium then we have remote web driver and the moment you open this remote web driver here comes the main game this particular class implements web driver javascript executor and takes a screenshot so basically there are a lot of other interfaces as well but these are the three interfaces which we use mostly right web driver takes a screenshot javascript executor now if you open again web driver let's see so this is the main web driver which we use almost every single day right so now web driver is an interface and this interface has a lot of unimplemented methods so you can see get method get current url get title and we have find element find elements so basically find element and find elements coming from the search context which i will show you now so the moment you uh, open the search context this is also another interface right and you can see we have two inter uh, two methods here one is find element and second is find elements find element returns single web element find elements returns list of web element so you can see how cool it is right uh, now you have the complete hierarchy which i showed in the whiteboard so again chrome uh, chrome driver chromium driver remote web driver web driver and 
Now search context, this is one complete hierarchy. Now, as I mentioned in the whiteboard, that in WebDriver you also find some pieces, right? So which we use very often. So if we scroll down further, you will also see that we have some more interfaces. So one is options. So when you say delete cookies, add cookies, so basically these methods are coming from options interface. Scroll down further and you will see another interface called timeout. So here you will find all the methods related to timeout. So we have the simplicity wait, then we have payload timeout, right? And set script timeout and everything. Scroll down further and you will again see target locator. So these are sub, some in, uh, sub interfaces which is along with WebDriver and remote WebDriver class which actually implements this. I hope it is clear now. So what I will do, let me write few permutation combinations. And before we go to the combination, I also showed right, edge driver also extend uh, this class. So if I remove Chrome driver, let me just type edge driver and let's import this edge driver as well. Come on. Okay, so let's open edge driver this time. So the moment you open edge driver, Again, Edge Driver is extending another class called Chromium Driver and rest everything is same which I showed. Now, if you open Firefox, Safari and other browsers, let's see what exactly they have. So they will not be having this Chromium Driver. Uh, they are not extending actually these Chromium Drivers. So let me quickly show you for Firefox and let's quickly import this. And if I open this Firefox driver, mm, yeah. So Firefox driver is a class which extend remote web driver directly. Okay, so now you got the clear reference, right? So this is basically Selenium 4 hierarchy. Now, if you try to change to Selenium 3, you will notice that you will not have this Chromium driver, which I um, draw in the diagram, right? With Selenium 3, you do not have this Chromium driver. So how you can check this? So first of all, what I will do, uh, let me change this version. So initially it was 4.0.0. Uh, let me change to 3.141.59 I remember this version because I frequently use this but in case if you want to know the exact version name what you can do you can open mwinrepository.com and you can simply search for selenium I already have this uh, open but yeah let's start from the scratch you'll get selenium java and you can see the list of uh, versions is there right so selenium 4 still in it's not release finally so it's initially it was in alpha release now it in beta release so if you see fab 2021 they release beta so if you want to go with any selenium 3 version you can take any one any version i'm using 3.141.59 so i just copy pasted or i just put it down uh, manually the moment i press ctrl s you will see automatically in our project these dependencies are updated earlier it was Selenium 4 now it's updated to 3.141.5. That's the advantage of using Maven. Now let me open the same uh, classes. So I will go back and let me use Chrome driver and let's open. So this time you will notice Chrome driver is directly extending remote web driver. There's no Chromium driver with Selenium 3. Same thing if you open Firefox, Edge browser, Safari browser, you will not find Chromium driver. Make sense? So this is how you can explain uh, Selenium hierarchy. Definitely, uh, if you are attending interviews now, if they ask you explain the Selenium hierarchy, you have to only explain the Selenium 4. If they explicitly ask, then definitely go for Selenium 3 hierarchy because Selenium 4 has been in the market almost from a year now. So go with the latest hierarchy. In case if they ask, go with Selenium 3. Now, let me also write down the different combinations. Okay, They will ask you during their interviews. So let me save this file. Let me close everything. So one of the combination is right away web driver driver to new Chrome driver. In this way, you can only access the method of web driver, right? Because the moment you create reference of web driver, you can only access the methods of web driver and search context. Now the moment I say Chrome driver driver equal to new Chrome driver. So when you use now driver one, because you know, the object also you're creating of Chrome driver, reference also of Chrome driver. In this way, you can access all the methods of Chrome driver, Chromium web driver, remo uh, remote web driver, 
web driver in search context because now the reference matter driver one is a reference of chrome driver so now with the help of driver one you can access everything in this hierarchy now another which is very frequently used uh, statement called web driver driver equal to new remote web driver so if you have worked with selenium grid then definitely you must have used selenium web driver right so using selenium driver you can uh, sorry using remote web driver you can execute the test on selenium grid so suppose you have a docker containers let's say you have some source layer browser stack or any other cloud vendors where your browsers are in already installed your devices are already set if you want to run your selenium test into these clouds you need selenium grid right so there we will be using remote web driver so these are three uh, different combination you should explain in the interview in case in case if they ask you otherwise you can explain web driver driver could new chrome driver and you can continue so i hope you have got the clear picture now how the selenium hierarchies are internally linked okay and uh, let me also show you two more interfaces which is takes a screenshot and javascript executor which we use uh, during our automation so if i go back again to remote web driver right so you can see now we have javascript executor and uh, takes a screenshot if i open takes a screenshot it has only one method called get a screenshot as so remote web driver has implemented takes a screenshot as well so yeah you can uh, do the same thing uh, create a maven project add the selenium dependencies okay and just to get the source code put mouse over press control or command from the keyboard put mouse over click on it you will get the source code try to see the source code because many people have seen they are very interested to know how these uh, you know methods classes are working internally so if you are the same person who are very curious what is happening behind the scene you can open the source code and say okay so that's all from my side guys in case if you enjoyed this video then make sure you share this video with your colleagues with your friends who are attending interviews and in case if you find this video little interesting and useful then make sure you subscribe this channel share with your friends like this video and in case if you have any other question in the mind let me know in the comment section and i will try my best to answer these questions thank you so much guys have a nice day bye bye